live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios in downtown Jamestown. It's morning news now, breaking news. And good afternoon. It is 66 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. I'm Justin Gould. And I'm Kyle Helis. Several people taken to the hospital following an evacuation in downtown Jamestown Thursday morning. That's right, Kyle. 19 people were treated and 11 others were taken to WCA following an evacuation at the old Furniture Mart building located at 111 West 2nd Street in Jamestown. The building houses the Connection. It's a call center as well as several other businesses in there. And at least six Jamestown fire ambulances were on scene from across the area. Chet Harvey says all things considered, the evacuation went pretty smooth. Actually, things went pretty smoothly. Uh, we were called to one person with difficulty breathing, uh, medic 35 personnel got on location, uh, uh, quickly assessed the situation. They had a couple more people complaining. Uh, we set up a unified command, set up an EMS liaison with All Star who responded, and then we just started staging ambulances to the scene and starting treating patients right here and triaging. But basically, our EMTs will evaluate the patient determine which ones uh, have the worst symptoms and that might need to be transported. Um, and the ones that we felt to be needed to be transported were transported by the series of ambulances that you see staged here just to handle that. Uh, then they're taken to WCA's ER and they're being further treated and we expect them to be released. Um, uh, the other patients that only need uh, uh, help in breathing, we supplied oxygen to them for a little while. Uh, monitored their situations and then basically they said they're okay and they sign a release. So what is the hazmat team going to do now? Uh, well, the hazmat team was initially called in because they thought the hazmat team would go in and maybe clean the product up. Hazmat team is to handle emergencies, they're not a cleanup squad. Yeah. So right now we're just going to confirm the product, that we what we think it is, and now we're working with the building owner to uh, figure up a cleanup. Now, up to seven fire departments responded to the scene. We're told that employees of the connection have been sent home and will reconvene later this afternoon. At least five ounces of cocaine was seized during a raid at a house just blocks away from Washington Middle School Thursday morning. Jamestown police arrested Brandy McBride, the ex-sister-in-law of Odessa McBride, who is currently facing federal drug trafficking charges. Police Chief Harry Snelling said that Odessa's case and this case are not related. We'll have more details on Thursday morning's raid throughout the day at westernnewyorknewsnow.com. Facebook will offer closed captioning for its Facebook Live videos. That's in an effort to help those who are deaf or hard of hearing. The company's director of accessibility sets it's all part of an ongoing effort to provide more content to more people. U.S. government numbers indicate that more than 360 million people are deaf or hard of hearing. Closed captioning is mandated on television, but not on the Internet. More on the evacuation and major medical emergencies at the connection is still to come, but first, here's Storm Hartman in for Dakota. Dakota, we had a bit of a technical problem with your audio, so here's your Skyline weather forecast. Today it's going to be 73 degrees with mostly sunny skies with scattered p.m. showers uh, with winds northeast at 4 to 8 miles per hour. And for tonight, 53 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, some scattered showers with winds northeast at 5 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, 74 degrees, partly to mostly sunny skies. Possible p.m. showers are to be expected, but they are unlikely, uh, with winds southwest at 9 to 16 miles per hour. I'm Storm Hartman with your Skyline Weather Forecast. Morning News Now continues right after the break. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvan Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Applications are now available for New York State's Excelsior Scholarship Program. The program will provide tuition-free education at New York's public colleges and universities to families making up to $125,000 a year. 
The program that passed this in this year's budget will be phased in over the next three years. An assault complaint was filed against ex-Bills coach Rex Ryan Saturday. Matthew Havel filed the misdemeanor complaint Sunday in Nashville. Havel claims that he talked to Ryan and his twin, Rob, for more than an hour at a Nashville bar when Ryan reached across and grabbed his neck in an unprovoked attack. No charges have been filed and no arrests have been made. Ryan currently is an analyst for ESPN. More news from The Connection next. Jamestown's newest vape shop is Cloud City, located at 121 East 2nd Street and open 11 to 7 Monday through Saturday. This cool, fresh environment is a great place to hang with friends and vape. Cloud City's expert staff is here to help. Try their in-house flavor, Cloud City, a delicious marshmallow combination, or their flavor of the day for just $3. Whether you're a first-time vapor or an expert puffer, visit Cloud City today. So welcome back to kind of a special edition of Morning News now here in the afternoon. Uh, we're talking about the connection, and we just kind of want to update everyone. If you didn't catch the story off the top, an HVAC unit leak is the cause of that evacuation that happened mid-morning today. More than a half a dozen ambulances were on scene. This was sort of a mass triage event if you will, uh, with a half a dozen ambulances and Chief Harvey telling us that a total of 30 people were t treated with 11 of them being taken to WCA right now. Crews are trying to work to clean up that scene, secure the connection, but Kyle, you know, we were on scene earlier kind of giving that live coverage. You've never seen anything like this. In I have never seen anything like this in the 31 no, years I've either. lived here. I've seen many factory fires, I've seen many house fires. You know, even police chases through the city. Mm -hmm. Never anything like this. I described it as something that you would see straight out of a movie. Yeah, and it almost is because, you know, when you think of it, you have like, let's say we had that spree of arsons recently, right? And everyone was out on the streets, but there were no injuries. There were no made. I'm sure, you know, firemen are treated for various things when they fight a fire, and it's very dangerous work, and we applaud them. But in this situation... Whatever the case may be, whether this was a complete accident or whatever, like, you know, 30 people, 30 innocent people who worked at the connection were, were injured by this. And, you they know, were Chief, affected by that yeah, HVAC exposure. Yeah. And, 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 you know, Chief Harvey told me in an interview, um, and we'll have all, the, all more throughout the day on our website, but he told me that, you know, it was, it's an irritant that was coming out of the, the air conditioning cooling, you know, and, and luckily no one is expected... Everyone is expected to recover, luckily. No one is expected to sustain anything major, but scary. I actually spoke with a few people that were uh, in the building when it happened. Uh, they described the odor as more of like a, a strong chemical smell. Uh, I was also described as uh, like more of like a hair dye, yeah. a very strong hair dye smell. So I'm sure that probably was not, you know, good mm -hmm. to, to inhale and, no. you know, so. anytime anybody's gotten their hair done, you know what that smells yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, and, and even if it's, you know, it's clearly not hair dye. Hair dye is, is meant to be on us, and stuff that's in a machine is. is he did not say it was uh, propylene glycol. Yeah, propylene glycol. That's right. That's a good catch. So if anyone knows specifically what propylene glycol is, too bad we can't bring our house chemist on to talk about it. But um, so that is going to do it. We have more on our website right now, wnynewsnow.com, and of course we will continue to cover this story as we learn more. And we're back tomorrow with another edition of the show. And make sure you join our social media revolution by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. See you tomorrow.